diving back into some of the attributes of God, those traits of his that are innately part of his nature, today I want to look at the fact that God is incomprehensible. And that means that he is wholly other than us. There is no one like God. He it is understandable only as he has revealed himself to us through his creation, through his word, and through his son, Jesus Christ. In the book of Job, chapter 11, we read these words in verse, starting in verse 7. Can you discover the depths of God? Can you discover the limits of the Almighty? They are high as the heavens. What can you do? Deeper than Sheol, what can you know? And then in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8 and 9, verses that might be familiar to you, God speaking says, My thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways, nor are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as high as the heavens, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. You know, we serve a God who has made himself known but who we can never fully understand. And yet he, who doesn't need us, who is complete without us, who doesn't rely on us for assistance, has chosen to make himself known. So today I would encourage you to ask yourself, if God, who is incomprehensible, has chosen to make himself known to me, what am I doing to get to know him better? How am I spending time learning about the things that he has revealed to us? Am I in the word? Am I studying the life of Jesus? Am I asking the Holy Spirit to reveal God in, even in creation? Am I asking him to reveal God to me so that I will never understand all of God, but I can understand as much as he has revealed. And that requires some effort on our part. That requires that we put in some time and study, that we do our due diligence to respond to the ways that God has made himself known. We have a God who we can never fully comprehend. And I think that that is a comforting thought because if I could fully comprehend God, then he would be limited to my understanding. And I'm somebody who forgets where they put their car keys on a regular basis. The fact that God is so far beyond me, so wholly other than me, gives me confidence that I can trust his wisdom, that I can trust his just justice, that I can rely on his goodness, that I can rest in his love. So I would encourage you today, get to know God better. He has made himself known and we need to do our part to learn how to understand what we can of him. We don't do that just by sitting back and watching television or scrolling through social media. It does take some time and effort on our part, but I would say to you, it's completely worth it to know the God who created all things, who holds all things together, and who loves us so much, he made a way for us to spend eternity with him in his restored creation. Amen.